Hello, I'm back with Black Whisper Crafts, and I am going to just make a few little dangles today for my Alice in Wonderland journal I'm making. And yes, I put notes on everything. <laughs> I buy things and then I forget what that I have them so I put notes on them and then put things together in an organizational fashion that makes sense to me. These are Stamperia, the die cuts are Alice and I purchased some from Michaels and I purchased some from Amazon but the Amazon ones are less expensive. So I will put that in the description below. And what I've done is, let me put my little note back on here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day and my healing is going good. Thanks for everyone who has messaged me, it's so nice. These are the die cuts. I cut the hole in this one with my crocodile but I think it's going to be too flimsy. I'm afraid it's going to break. So I'm just going to save that for, put something more stable on it and that one too. But these are just a bit large for the journal I'm making right now. So I'm just, what I did, I'll show you. I took the real, took the smaller ones out. Let's put this away out of the way. Took the smaller ones out. Yeah, that's a big, big compared to most of the smaller ones. And I just went ahead and hole punched them all. But I didn't care for just the white in the back. So what I'm doing is just stamping them with one of my favorite French garden rose something another stamps. But I'm using my Stress Ranger permanent vintage photo and it's staying on there just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get this last one stamped. Just got to make sure that you get nice and inked up wherever you're stamping at and push really hard because there's an indention where they cut the die cut out of the chipboard. So that'll work. That'll work just great. This, this is what we're going to end up with. So I just ink up the edges just to give it a little definition. Just like that. And then I'll go to the other side also. everyone's having a wonderful day. I am every day I get stronger and not as sore and the bruising is subsiding. Just really happy with the way my healing journey is going. Let's see, let's put this away. Didn't need that anymore. Yes, let's get rid of this too. Like that. But that just makes it so much prettier than just the white on the back. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Hold on. Back up. If you like the white on the edge, it's just all what you what it is just all in what you prefer. There. These are some of the small ones, and of course you just saw what I did to the back. I stamped them and then inked up the edges on the back. There's uh, quite a few of these I did. See, I just think it looks cute. I like it inked up on the back like that. Just if the dangle flips around, it just has something on the other side. I think it's cute. I like it. And there were some of the small ones that had 
duplicates or that could be glued together like this playing card with ace on one side and two on the other. It didn't fit perfectly, but I don't mind. I just glued them together and inked them up and used my crop dial and put a hole in it. There was, there's not an eat me and drink me. There's only eat me and eat me. So no worries. Just glued those together in these little teeny tiny pieces. That made them much stronger to glue them together. Like that. Because there was not much space left to patch it with the crocodile. So I have some that are double sided. And then some that are like this with the little Victorian or French or Country Rose pattern on the back. And these are from my when I did altered playing cards, these are the middle cutouts. I kept them because I thought maybe that would be cute to use for something in my Alice journal. So yeah, hang on to those little bits and scraps and you never know, you might use them. Then I have some beads and the little crystal looking beads. I have a lot of charms. And these I thought would be really fun. These are actually necklace extenders. I got these on Amazon. But they work great for what I'm going to do today. All different sizes. I'll put the link in the description if you care to pop over there and purchase some. It's all of what you want to do. It doesn't cost you a dime. I do get a little bit of commission. It allows me to buy some little bits and bobs. If you're not comfortable with that, no big deal. There's a description. There'll be a description. These are necklace extenders. And I have some bolt pins from Timu. When they have them, I get them. And then I purchased this silver and black and bronze and I'm not sure what color that is and the gold like five colors I think from Amazon huge bag it was extremely inexpensive it was crazy inexpensive so yeah that and I have some charms out here let's see rabbits you can get these um, Timu and Amazon. There's the white rabbits. And these keys, I specifically got these from Timu. So cute. You can use these on a lot of different projects. And the spoons. So cute. I got those from Timu. This whole big assortment. And these big ones too. Purchase these Alice ones specifically on Amazon. But the only problem, the only problem I have with it is there is actually, there really is only one Alice. And everything that you see in the pictures, the Amazon pictures, is exactly what you get. You get one Alice and you get everything else that's in it. It's no big deal because they give you a lot, a whole lot of them. I'll put that link down below if anyone cares to know about it. But yeah, some really cute charms. Really, really cute charms. I like that really V's you teeth on it. It's so cute. And then I got some keys, some really small ones. These are from Timu. And then this set that I got from Amazon has the same teapot in it that, well, it looks like the same one that the Timu does. They don't look any different at all. They don't bend, nothing. Same teapot. But yeah, I like this variety pack. That was really cute. So yeah, what I'm going to do is take an extender it has the little things on each end. 
is going to randomly attach some stuff to it and just see how it goes. I think this will be fun. Let's see. I have, let's just start out with this bolt pin. And you can use these bolt pins and you don't have to mess with the uh, pins and hooks and eyes and all that stuff. I remember right these extenders are really reasonably priced so see if you have trouble with your hands getting tired or hurting or something in the bowl pen <laughs> let me try this again Actually went a little higher. Let's give it a go again. One more go. There we go. That's already cute. Just a little chain like that. That's so cute. So what I think I want to do is put. A charm up here. That's cute. And then let's hang a charm from here. I've got one that's kind of long. Drop it. There's a key. Let's see. Is there a longer key? No, let's just use this key right here. <laughs> yeah, just fold that chain in half and it makes it look like there. Just fold the chain in half, you have two spots there. Let's see, let's put something really short and just short and stubby on the bottom. How about the D? Teapot? Tea kettle. Teapot, I think. There. Isn't that adorable? Took a whole, what, 10 seconds. This is cute. I think I want something right here, though. Let's get another bolt pin and put on here. Let's put it on about up here. Do we want a charm or do we want some, let's hold it up real quick here. Yeah, let's put another charm on there. This is cute and really easy. Let's see, what else do we have? That's a teapot, teapot, teapot. Rub it. Let's see how long the rub it will be. Whoops. <laughs> oh goodness. There we go. There. Now let me get my main one here. Just make sure that your there we go. The bulb, the round part of the bulb pin, just like a light bulb would hang down, make sure it's down, pointing down. Okay, now let's move these aside. So hopefully you can get a good look at that. Is that not cute? Or what? That was so simple. Just using a necklace extender. Really cute. I like that. That one 
that side. There's another, all different sizes of Greek thunders in there. Let's do some colors. I want to get some colors on here. Green. Oh, there's red. Red. And why is it pink or red? I can't tell. That's pink. That's red. I'm um, not sure. White. Let's get black. Couple black ones there. Let's just mix this all up. Let's see. What do we have going on over here? I thought I had a card. Oh, there is a card. There's a card. the main one on here. How about we use black for the main one? I wonder if we do it this way. How this will turn out. That's cute. Just hook that on there. Oh, maybe we will. There. That on there. Two spots on the back. Definitely need to put red here too. Okay. I think this one's red. Yeah. If it's not, I'll switch it out later. if we should put a heart going each oh we could do that i could have i could have glued these together look at that let's just do this put a heart on there that's cute some color okay so we have two more spots here let's just put something on here and here Let's see. We can put those in a little spot together. Teapots and how about hmm. We put a spoon on here. This is so cute. <laughs> I love this spoon. It's so adorable. That's so cute. Let's see what color do we have here. I don't think there are any red beads. white one oh, and a red and a black I think or a red orange or something it's okay that's cute got it through there up and see what we have so far. That's cute. That little spoon. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Let me get my the bulb pen going the right direction here. There. That's cute. Oh, we still have two more spots. Hold on. Let's get something on here. Those two are in there. I'm not sure. How about this key? I'm not sure if that will fit in there. Let's give it a go. 
might need to be charms, but that's okay. We can do charms if we need to do charms. Yeah, that's not gonna go. <laughs> it says, no, I wanna stay on there. Okay, there we go. There, that's cute. We have the card, and we have a heart, and we have a spoon, and we have a diamond. So one more spot. Here we go. Do I want just a little bunny? Just a little bitty bunny, or... short short charm so let's see if it would fit on there there awesome that is cute got the card and the bunny hanging off the extender and the hearts off the ball pin and then the spoon and then the little diamond at the bottom that's cute Cute. Really cute. I'm gonna pop up and see how long my video is going. 22 minutes. We can do one more. I just need to um, go lay down for a little nappy. It's a long one. A long one. I'm trying to find a shorter one. There's a shorter one right there. We'll use that one. To have them, I mean, they're even really be short ones. Okay, let's do. Um, wait a minute, let me think here. One, two, three. Let's do a longer one. Let me change my mind here. And we'll do all the teapots and then the tea time one one. That'd be cute. Always oh, time for tea. A bigger one. No, I'm gonna have all of the big clocks out. Pretty much. And I'm like, what is this one? The rabbit. That'd be cute. So, what do we want? So, it's kind of a. green. It's actually a teal, but I don't think there's a teal in here. Pink, green. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Lost it. Oh, kind of a peach color. Let's just do all the little pretty little colors. So one, two, I don't know. Let's see if this will go into extender here. It does. Isn't that not awesome? Yes, I like that. <laughs> Just the little things. So that'd be one, two, three. How 
how about we try this different way? I'm going to go with this first. Yeah, I can like that. Let's go farther up. There. Now I'll have our tea time right there. There, that's better. Cute, cute, cute. And let's go ahead and put this one on here. Yeah, I like these bold pins so much better than the um, pins and jump jump rings because those it's a big deal to, to get your pliers out and pull them apart and on and on and these you can just move them about to wherever you want them to be I like that noise <laughs> on there. So cute. And let's see if the other teapot will go up here. Yes, I think it will. Isn't that adorable? Okay, let me get a hold of it here. That is so cute. turned over so you can actually see it. That is so cute and it was so easy. Just bowl pins, necklace extender, and some chipboards. So cute. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to put a charm on that. That is adorable. So let me get laid out here what we just did in case you want to see how pretty they are. I have a lot more to do, but I'm getting tired. I need to go have a shake and have a nap. But there's the ball pin, and there's the few ball pins, and some are hooked onto the ends of the extender. Then here's the one that is a little bit on the cards theme the card, and the rabbit, and the heart and the diamonds and the spoon, and the little ball pin. Then here is the one that is all means you just matching the silver with the ball pin. The white rabbit, a key, another white rabbit, and the teapot. Isn't that so cute? That was so simple and easy. Oh, I just really like this. Thank you for watching. I am going to go drink a shake and have a nap. And I'll be crafting later. It's really helping in my healing doing my crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.